What's going on everybody? This is my review for Ant-Man and Wasp, aka Ant-Man 2, another movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that leads up to the next movie which is Captain Marvel which is going to lead into Avengers 4. Title still to be unknown but I can care less about the title. I don't want to see no previews for it until Christmas. No more spoilers until Christmas. Don't tell me nothing about Avengers 4 until Christmas. I don't want to avenge a goddamn thing. Unless somebody steal from me. Then I gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, you see the trees, plants behind me. Those are my mother's plants. One is dying, but she keeps putting water in it. But I put it in the video anyway because it needs some love and not just water love. You feel me? So anyway, Ant-Man 2 in the watch, you know, stars Paul Rudd, you know, at, uh, Evangeline Lilly and um, Michael Douglas that has, uh, what's his name? Lawrence Fishburne in it. Michael Penna, you got Hannah, the chick that plays Ghost, and you got T.I. in it. Uh, I'm going to just say right off the bat, much funnier, much better movie than the first one. And the first one wasn't no bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. So I would give this movie probably eight and a half out of ten, you feel me? Um, that's a whole lot of love for me for a Marvel movie. But Marvel really doesn't make bad movies. I haven't seen a bad Marvel movie. That's just a movie that I was like, eh! The movie I was like, mmm, but not bad. Or maybe First Incredible Hulk. Maybe I need to watch that again. But anyway, I'm going to do that one day. I'm going to go back and watch those movies that really wasn't in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But anyway, so let me talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp because I got sidetracked and sometimes I do that. So, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp was basically about finding the mother. Um... Hold on. I forgot Michelle Pfeiffer's mother's name. I want to say Lynn or Finn or something like that. Something like that. Uh, Pim. The Pim. Um, so she was Pim mother. She was in the uh, quantum reality world or whatever. Whatever the proper name of that's called. You know, that that's a big part of the Avengers. It's going to be in the quantum, quantum world, whatever you want to call it. However you want to say it. Um, yeah, it's Pim. You know, Hank Pim and all of that. So, along trying to figure out, find the mother, Ant-Man is on house arrest for helping in Civil War, and he gets off in like, I don't know, so many days throughout the movie, he gets off of house arrest, and I don't know if you've seen it, but I'd already killed you with a spoiler alert, but he has a dream because they tried to get in the quantum world, and the quantum world triggered something in his mind about their mother still being alive and that's how the story began. I don't really want to tell you everything about the movie because I don't know if you've seen it. Some people don't want to hear all that so I'm not going to go through all that. But I'm going to tell you things that I liked about it and I'm not sure of so many things that I even disliked about it. First thing I liked, they didn't do the same type of humor all around in the movie. They did it in certain spots so it would make you reminisce of the first movie, you know, give you a little nostalgic feeling. And then they just did a whole bunch of different humor. They let um, hope be the funny one. They let hope be the lead. They let hope be the reason why everything was going the way it was going until they was ready to bring Ant-Man in, involved. And I thought that was dope. Uh, so when they got to the part where they had to go meet Lois Fishburne, right away I knew I was like, he's in on it. He was too calm for, like, if I don't like you or you got me fired and I see you 20 years later, we're not going to have no simple dialogue. I'm not going to see you and be like, oh, <laughs> what's up, homie? I still don't like you. No, it's not going to be none of that. Get out of my presence. Be gone. But he was too kind. He was too friendly. And he was too nice when the cops rolled up on him. I don't know, officer. I I don't know. I haven't talked to him in such a long time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Like, he was he was too much of that for me. So I knew he was in on it. Um, so the movie was funny. The movie had really good characters in it. They brought back everybody that was in the first movie. They gave him even more speaking roles or bigger parts or more time on film this time around. Um, I One thing that caught me was I think they should have told us more about Ghost's background first before she just popped up on the scene. If she popped up, I'm like, oh, she, she already in the building. Oh, oh, okay. Like she was just... No, uh, but then they tell you later on why she's the way she is. But I feel like they kind of should have led up to that 
So that way, when she just came over from the screen, you was like, oh, she she's already here. She's already in ghost form, you know. So, but outside of that, it wasn't much I disliked. Um, they kind of hinted at, you know, Lawrence Fishburne being Goliath, maybe, down the line. I don't know if that's something they're going to do because he's pretty old. But, I mean, Michael Douglas can be in there older shit. I mean, he can be in there older shit. But that was cool. I like the battle scene. I like the fight scenes. I like this movie is one of those more methodical, plan out Marvel movies. Not one of those let's just run up in there, whatever happen happens type of situation. I know people are gonna comment and be like, "What are you talking about? They're all methodical. They're all well planned out." We could discuss that in the comments. That's just how I feel about this particular Ant Man and why. Um, one thing I didn't touch on was I like the dynamic of Ant Man and um, hold on. I always be forgetting people's names, so I got to go back and read. Um, uh, Louise, Michael Penna's character. You know, he just wanted to run the business while he was on house arrest, and he just wanted to make sure everything's perfect, and then come to find out they was going to lose the business if they didn't get that last client. So I like that dynamic. That dynamic was really good. Um, when he got to his part where he started doing the same thing he did from the first movie, it was on time, it was perfect. It didn't feel rushed. It didn't feel like... They had to use that the whole movie to make the movie good. So, I really enjoyed it. I didn't get to see the after credit scenes. Um, that's my fault. I need to see them so I know what they were. I heard it was only one. So, I'm going to look forward to that whenever I can catch that. Maybe I'll go see it again. Um, but outside of that, I enjoyed the movie. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. I... I think I'm going to I'm going to film me going to this calisthenic park because you know I'm trying to get in shape and stuff like that so I'm gonna film me going and stuff like that I don't know if I'm gonna show me working out because I've never been to that park yet so I don't know how good I'm gonna look but maybe I should just you know first time out but um I already broke my GD uh, camera uh, stand so my stabilization might mess up. But other than that, just leave me a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Like I always say, if any video some people want me to touch on, pause. Let me know and I'll touch, you know, I will uh, do a video on it. But I'm about to get out of here. I'm going to eat again and then I'm going to go to the calisthenic park. So look forward to that video. And like always, I say this with so much enthusiasm. Eat more chicken.